So we are pretty much done with the with the topology of the face right now. Of course, the eye sockets and mouth sockets are still missing. So as you can see, the, the features are pretty much maintained. And um, what we're going to do now, we're going to append the new topology. And uh, what we're going to do now is to transfer the high res polygon sculpting on the newly created topology through the project tool function of the subtool rollout. So let's select the new topology. And then project tool. It just takes a little bit. Here we go. So what we do have now is the the new topology for the face but it maintains all the subdivision level that we had before so that means basically also the same sculpting details as before so we're gonna export now this mesh to OBJ to use it in uh, 3D Studio Max to build the eye socket and the and the mouth sock. So let's go back to 3D Studio Max, and we're gonna start with the eye socket very quickly. Basically, we are gonna extrude the the open edge of the of the eye, and we are gonna cap it. And then we're going to apply a Spherify modifier in order to, to build the eye socket. This operation, as you see, just like to split the mesh in half because we're going to use symmetry. So here's a quick, here's the quick process. Basically just about extruding the profile of the, of the eye socket, cap it. Of course, we are going to detach the entire mesh after. This is just very, very fast. Of course, some topology refinement is needed because after the Spherify modifier, the topology is a little bit like uh, out of place sometimes. So we just have to, to align everything. It doesn't have to be super beautiful and accurate, especially in the, the interior part. Just have to be functional, it just to be just have to be a round high socket. In a similar way, we are going to now model the, the mouth suck. So basically, we are going to just extrude the, the profile of the mouth. 
to the, the profile then we have to cap it to make the cap in the end of it and then we're gonna shape it as we need here's the extrusion just a little bit of a step in the middle this is necessary to model it later and then you're just gonna move the top from the from the bottom a little bit to build the, the cap It's better work on half of it for now. I have to do a little of tweaking the geometry as you can see. But this is necessary because we are gonna cap it soon. Here we go. And uh, just reconstructing the topology in the in the cap. As you can see, I'm super rough now. I only take care of take care that I have uh, qual polygons, more or less, all around. I'm gonna take care of the shape of this object in uh, in ZBrush. Here we go. Let's export it to OBJ. and back to ZBrush the reason I do this in ZBrush is because it's just easier for me to sculpt a mesh like this very easily and shape it uh, as I want in no time I just have to, to take care to not touch the the part close to the to the lips because I'm gonna attach that part in uh, 3D Studio Max. So let's export this to OBJ and back to 3D Studio Max. And what we're gonna do now is basically attach to new created piece of mouth suck to the to the rest of the of the mesh of the face. Here we go. Just have to take care of this area. Basically, is the inside of the mouth where the the lips and the mouth are connect. And then we can apply symmetry again. So here's the completed face mesh with both sockets and a eye socket and mouth sock let's export it to to obj back to zbrush again and uh, we're gonna basically do the same process as before basically projecting the high-res detail the only difference is that 
basically we are going to import the, the mesh at step zero instead of uh, projecting. So the newly created mesh in ZBrush is gonna is gonna have also the the eye socket and the mouth sock. Here we go. Little bit of tweaking is necessary on the mouth. Nothing really problematic. And this is pretty much it with the face uh, retopology. So back to Max again, the new created face, and uh, here's a cup. Is a here's a tongue and teeth from another project. I'll just quickly show you their placement in the in the mouth sack, and. Uh, Let's keep the topology of uh, the other piece of meshes. And here's the final topology of uh, our character. Topology ready for animation. As you can notice, not all the parts have been completely retopologized. In the case of the jacket, only the sleeves has been have been retopologized in example. Here we have the pants. Some parts, I mean in the viewport right now like the same detail that we have in zebras just because I plan to use like normal maps or displacement maps later in render so don't be surprised that the topology is kind of like simplified here in terms of like visual detail 